Our next section contains an overview of our basic skills or techniques. Prior to any workout, it is important to warm up and go through a series of your basic skills. The following is a complete warm-up exercise routine that will focus on your basic skill sets. First, we start with axe kick or front rising kick. Each athlete should concentrate on their basic skill while the other athlete observes and makes comments at the completion of the exercise. The next skill is outside to inside axe kick. This is then followed by inside to outside axe kick. Now that we've warmed up the hips and hamstring muscles, we move on to front kick both high and low. Next is round kick, once again performed to the stomach and to the face. Remember to alternate the legs. Next is rear leg side kick. Each athlete concentrates on proper posture and body position. This is followed with stepping over rear leg whip kick to the face. Each athlete offers the other athlete a hand to be used as a target. Now that the kicking skills are completed, it's time to move on to cover punch. The first kick, or axe kick, as the leg traveling in a straight line up and down the body and then returning to the floor. Note the arm positions, how the leg travels between the arms with the kicking leg's arm returning towards the back of the body. Concentrate on keeping your head straight and your eyes focused forwards.
in inside-outside crescent kicker axe kick, the athlete's eyes are still forward, while the leg travels in a semi-circular fashion across the face. Once again, notice the arm position and how it provides for balance during the kicking process. Inside-outside axe kick has the athlete traveling forward while the leg travels in a semi-circular fashion across the other side of the body. Notice how the rear foot travels along the floor so that the athlete may maintain his balance during the kick. This action of the rear foot traveling across the floor is called follow foot and will be covered during several other tapes in the series. Now, front kick. Notice how the leg chambers and then the leg fully extends out with the foot pointing the ball of the foot towards the target. As with all the other kicks, the hands travel in opposition to help the body maintain its balance and posture. Next is round kick, singularly the most used kick in taekwondo competition. Notice how tightly the knee and foot travel to the rear leg. Also pay attention to the pivoting of the body, how the chest, leg, knee, and foot completely cross the opponent's midsection or face. Side kick is the first kick in the series that will use a pushing motion rather than a round or a straight motion. The heel travels in a straight line from the floor directly to the target. The athlete's head and eyes rotate so that he may keep his eye on the intended target. Once again, the rear foot pivots 180 degrees. This is followed by rear leg whip kick. In rear leg whip kick, the striking area is the sole of the foot. During this drill, the athlete focuses on bringing his sole of his foot across his intended target's face. The body pivots 180 degrees while the rear foot follows. Back kick is the next in the series of warm-up exercises. In back kick, the athlete pivots 180 degrees while his rear foot travels in a straight line towards the target. Just as in all the other kicks, the kicking leg and rear supporting leg travel closely together. This is followed by back hook kick. Notice how closely the kicking leg travels with relation to the body and the supporting leg. In 
back hook kick, the kicking leg travels closely to the body and supporting leg. The athlete then whips the foot across the face. Cover punch has become the ultimate counter for Taekwondo roundhouse kicks. 